by the name of Naaman who had leprosy, which is a skin disease that caused the skin to have the white spots and, and with yellow hair, which causes the person to itch uncontrollably. And sometimes it appears in certain areas on the body, and sometimes it spreads and covers the entire body. It could sometimes appear in the head or in the beard, but the flight of the leper was palatable for he lived in a complex exile. Mm -hmm. He couldn't stay with everybody else, uh -huh. but he had to live outside of the city. Yes. Yes. And in order for a leper to be cleansed or purified, he had to talk to the priest who he met outside of the city. Uh -huh. yeah. The priest then would take two birds and a piece of material called scarlet. And he had one of the birds killed, and the blood of the bird was to be mixed with water. And the priest then would sprinkle the blood and the water mixture on the person to be declared clean. This had to be done seven times. Uh -huh. The priest then let the living bird loose in the field, and the person who was to be cleansed had to wash his clothes and shave his body hairs off and wash himself. And after he washed himself, he shaved all of his bodily hairs off. He was supposed to sit outside the camp for seven days. Uh -huh. And on the seventh day, he was to shave all of the hairs off. It's amazing what people go through to be clean. Yes, he had to wash his clothes and his body again in the water. And on the eighth day, he had to bring a sacrifice for a trespass sin and a meal offering and a log of oil. The priest then would anoint him. The person with the rest of the oil, and all this was done for atonement for a person declared clean. But here we see in our text tonight that Naaman was the captain, and he was a man of status, but yeah. he still had Come on. leprosy. Yeah. Yeah. If I may just stop there for a moment and just hang my robe. Come on now. Many of us are sitting in the church. Come on. With leprosy. Many of us is testifying, Lady Barnes, with leprosy. We're speaking in tongues. We're shouting, but we have leprosy. But God is saying, we've come to the altar and we prayed and, and they brought us paper towels and we blew our nose, but we missed the spot. Because when we got home, we got on the phone and we began to gossip and we began to tear down one another and we began to cause havoc in the church. But we say that we are saved. We say we're Holy Ghost filled. And the Lord is saying tonight, you missed the spot. I remember growing up many, many moons ago, mom would tell you to go and get your bath. And some of you know about that. And you go in there and you take your bath and you come out and mama said, did you wash behind your ears? And, and did, did you get between your toes? And Mama, I, I took a bath. She said, uh-uh. She said, I see a little something right there. Oh, don't sit there like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because you didn't get it right the first time either. Then we go back in there and mama said, there's something wrong because the water is still clear.
the way we came. And then we, we, we get home and we wonder why hell's breaking loose in our house. We wonder why we're going through so much and why things is not working out for us. And we have the audacity to say, but I'm a tither. But it's more to it than just being a tither. Your life has to line up with the word. If you came for a hoop, I don't know if you're going to get hoop tonight. Your, 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 your whole lifestyle. People want to justify and say, oh, you are the apostolic denomination. Apostolic is a lifestyle. It's not a denomination. It's living holy unto God, being clean before God, asking God to purify us, Sister Cheryl, and thank God, clean me and staying on the altar. And you know, we used to get up real quick. Because we'd be down there, we'd go back and back and back in like we had the Holy Ghost and jump up. And Mama said, get on back down there. You don't have nothing yet. But now we got the new age stuff. Oh, God. We speak in tongues of manufactured tongues one time. And never speak again. And want to know why that everything is wrong in the church. But it's never you. It's always somebody else. It's because you missed the spot. Oh, God. Yeah. 